What originally started as a bonus game mode for Rainbow Six Siege has gone on to become its own full-fledged game. Rainbow Six Extraction is a spin-off of Rainbow Six Siege that takes the operators you love from the PvP game into a more sci-fi themed PvE game, swapping out squads of 5 for a more close-knit team of 3. The result feels somewhat close to Siege's DNA, yet different, and while I don't think it does much to differentiate itself from other games in the genre, it did start to grow on me. While the Rainbow Six games have had some very interesting stories in the past, Extraction won't go down as one of them. For all intents and purposes, this game feels like it was thrown together for some excuse to make a zombie-like PvE game with an established roster. And I mean, technically that's what happened. Somewhere in the middle of New Mexico, a Russian capsule gets brought down from space, carrying some sort of alien species with it. As a response, the Rainbow HQ launch Operation Outbreak, a mission to isolate and contain the mutant species with the help of a newly formed task force known as REACT. Unfortunately for them, this event in New Mexico wasn't the last they'd see of these aliens, as more started to pop up across the United States in the coming years. The story progresses across the various cutscenes in between visiting the site locations ranging from New York to San Francisco to even Alaska. I appreciated the callbacks to some of the source material in the books and getting to see some operative favorites in new locations. However, as a standalone story with these established agents, it didn't really leave a lasting impression. The story doesn't really end with the campaign though, as like with most Ubisoft games, post-launch content looks to further the story bits with more game modes and events in the future. As someone that jumped on the Rainbow Six Siege train around 2019, I was excited to see not only how Siege's DNA would adapt to this new type of gameplay, but also how Siege in general could be modernized. After all, Siege had came out back in 2015, so to finally see a new follow-up even in a completely different game was exciting. Unfortunately, not much feels that improved from Siege outside of some slightly improved visuals and character models. Instead, Extraction combines the memorable operators and tactical gun mechanics of Siege and warps it into a renovated PvE game complete with randomized objectives. If you played Siege before, you'll have the leg up as a lot of the elements feel familiar. Operators from Siege, for example, make up the playable cast in Extraction, although only 18 of them are available so far. Sledge, Havana, Vigil, Rook, and Doc come back, but others like Aruni, Orcs, and Clash are missing in action, most likely due to their abilities not working well with Extraction's gameplay or their maps lacking some verticality that Siege had. A lot of the Siege favorites are MIA. What is here though is a nice variety of characters that feel distinct from one another thanks to their abilities, making each party member feel integral for every mission. While Siege took the 5 player PvP approach, Extraction is a 3 player PvE game that Ubisoft Montreal specifically chose to only be 3 players to keep the chaotic voice chat to a minimum. Whether that choice is the right one remains to be seen, but after spending a week with Extraction, I can certainly see it's a much more team focused game than Siege. Beating into the game, you'll be presented with your choice of locations to investigate, and upon choosing one, you'll be randomly assigned a handful of missions to complete within said objective. There are 13 different types of objectives across these maps, with some of them having you take out certain targets, collecting intel from alien nests, or activating seismic machines to name a few. Entering these maps, I noticed a vast majority of them were indeed much larger than what I found in Siege, but they also feature less verticality. Where in Siege I had to worry about the enemy blowing up a ceiling to get the jump on me, in Extraction there is a much more horizontal experience. Aliens can still break through walls, but I primarily use a set of stairs to get to the second floor rather than the usual grapple hook. The core of this still is based on Siege though, so expect to reinforce walls to keep enemies from breaking through walls, using the operator's abilities to survive and playing tactical. Where other games in the genre like Back for Blood feel faster paced and arcade-like, Extraction integrates that Siege DNA for a slower paced stealth approach to the genre. Depending on how many players you're with, the game adjusts the difficulty of the objectives accordingly. It also means that you should make sure that you select the correct operators for a mission. For example, if you know your teammates like to play a bit recklessly, you might want to bring along someone that can heal like Doc. Likewise, if you're going on a rescue mission, it's probably best to leave a slower tank character like Chachanka behind. Each location breaks up its missions, letting you complete one objective and immediately extract out of the location without completing the rest. Sure, you'll miss out on some XP and level progression on your character, but it's that very same risk and reward that keeps Extraction feeling exciting. You see, losing a teammate in a mission doesn't just mean they're out of that game mode, it means the operative is stuck there unless you go back and extract them. Likewise, the health you end on a mission is the same health you'll start on your next mission if you don't let them heal. Alongside the very limited replenishment of health, ammo, equipment, and abilities, you're left to weigh your options constantly and balance the risk and rewards of continuing the mission. It surprisingly works well, leading to some tense and adrenaline-fueled moments of racing to save a fallen operative while avoiding the aliens coming from every corner of the map. Siege's more strategic approach to shooters is at the forefront of extraction. 
Instead of running and gunning towards the objective, I found myself crouch walking my way there, looking out for enemies, making notes of any breakable walls that aliens could come through. Shooting out alien nests will keep aliens from spawning nearby, but can also alert the ones in other areas. Shooting the black gunk that slows you down clears out the running path, but also wears out your ammo if you're not too careful. And for whatever reason if that wasn't challenging enough for you, there's a weekly challenge mode that pre-selects 9 missions and 6 operators for a universal challenge albeit with one modifier. This can be anything from a damage multiplier to the aliens being invisible. These challenges will continue to be updated alongside more game modes in the future as part of Ubisoft's ongoing live service support for this title. While the gameplay didn't initially grab me nor did I have high expectations for extraction, once I got the hang of this game's new structure compared to Siege, along with the right squad, I found myself having a good time with it. It feels a lot more tactical than Siege in many ways, and requires a lot of patience out of the player, occasionally leading to some frustrating moments. At the same time, there's some great serotonin filled moments when my team and I barely escape by the skin of our teeth as we risk it all to save the down operator. With the smaller selection of operators and less versatile maps, I can see this game getting repetitive soon though, and I can only hope that Ubisoft provides enough post-launch support to introduce more diverse maps and corresponding operators. Being based on the 2015 game, Rainbow Six Extraction surely looks dated to say the least. It's not a bad looking game, I've seen worse shooters released just last year, but it's apparent by looking at it, it doesn't look like a modern release. With that said, having played Siege on PC for the last few years, Character models and guns do look ever so slightly sharper and better lit. That's probably as far as this old game engine can be pushed while retaining the old tech. What does look significantly better are the cutscenes for story moments. Character models and scenery look fantastic, much better presentation than the in-game engine scenes in something like Siege. I just wish at times I felt the same way about in-engine work as well. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to test out the console version for this review, but I did play the PC version and it runs just about as well as Siege does. Much like its visuals, the audio foundation is also molded from the remnants of Siege. Just how Siege's foundation ultimately led to Extraction being a stealth-focused game, the same can be said about its sound design. Guns use suppressors, so rather than being a loud run and gun game, Extraction is quiet compared to most shooters. Its music also seems slow and quiet. It helps develop this eerie atmospheric tone that goes along with the sci-fi centered setting. It's not exactly horror, there is this uneasiness to it that ultimately manifests in these stressful moments with the aliens having you against the wall. Rainbow Six Extraction is a shockingly fun game so long as you have the squad to play with. While it doesn't elevate the genre or turn heads very much, I think it's as much fun as much effort you put into it. It feels familiar because it is a spin-off mode of Siege, and ultimately having played it for a week now, it still feels like that. That also leads me to believe it's not exactly worth the $40 price tag, even having originally been a price $60 game. Luckily, it is available on both console and PC Game Pass, so if you're on Xbox or PC, I think it's worth the download. On other platforms, I think with some added content down the line, it very much could be as well, but for the time being, it's not quite there yet for me.